This is the third laboratory of electrical machines. In this work, the objectives are to characterize the operation of an action machine and to study the command and control methodologies for them. In this experiment, we will use a variable speed drive, here named Altiva, to control an induction machine that will operate as a motor. You can see here in the left the induction machine and in the right the DC machine that will operate as a generator. This generator will be connected to a resistive electrical load and by changing the electrical load, we will change the torque load of the induction machine. Start by connecting the input of the variable speed drive to the power grid and the output to the induction machine. And finish the wiring of the induction machine using a star windings connection. Next, use the instrument transformer to measure a single phase voltage of the induction machine in the oscilloscope and use a current probe to measure the current of the same phase. Remember, it should be in the same phase. Also, don't forget to always use auxiliar measurements to get a fast measure of the voltage and current while you are setting the operation point. Now, let's go to the assembly of the DC machine. In the right you have the terminals of the DC machine and in the left you have the resistive load and also in the bottom a DC source that you will need to supply the excitation circuit of the DC machine. Start by connecting the excitation fields windings of the DC machine to the DC source and its armature also to the electrical resistance. Connect all resistance in parallel. First, turn on the power grid, and next, before connecting the variable speed drive, see if all switches are down. After that, you can turn on the variable speed drive. Select operation mode by following the instructions here presented. To start the machine, turn on the first switch and you will see the electrical frequency imposed to the induction motor in the display of this variable speed drive. And finally, control the speed of the machine using the bottom of this yoke. With the machine running, let's look at the voltage and current at the terminals of the induction machine. In the yellow line you have the voltage with a higher monitor content that comes from the variable speed drive. And in the blue line you have the current with a lower monitor content. This phenomenon for the current is based on the impedance of the induction machine that filter the higher harmonics of the voltage. You can use a low-pass filter 
to remove the higher harmonics of the voltage and remain with only the lower one. Ok, now with the fixed electrical frequency adjust the resistive load and the excitation of the DC machine to change the load torque of the induction machine. Be always careful not to exceed the rated values of all the devices. To finish this experiment, see the evolution of the voltage for each electrical frequency in each mode, N and P.